the warp effect tools i went ahead and put in some screenshots to show you what that looks like for the first beginning ones um, but throughout the tutorial they just kind of give you the written instructions on what you should be putting in for your distortions and your bends um, so after the first couple ones you're not going to see pictures for that so just keep that in mind um, but we're going to go ahead and go um, it wants to start off by doing a new document And we're going to set it to 600 pixels by 300 pixels. And then I went ahead and saved this um, swatch here. So that I could just easily bring it over. But if you want to make your own swatch, it gives you all of the color grades for that. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to match when you're trying to create things. Because these are the only colors we're actually going to use for this tutorial. I'm going to zoom out so I can see what all is going on here. Um, And then we're going to get going. So the first one, I'm going to take my eyedropper tool where the um, shortcut on that is just I and then matching. And I'm going to set up a rectangle and then go to effect, warp, bulge. It's going to be set, let's see, to vertical. The bend is going to be negative 15. And then it's going to be 0 and 30. And then I'm going to do another longer rectangle. I'm going to color match it to that greenish blue. Right click and do arrange, move to back, and that's going to be under there. Under my lampshade, I'm going to do another rectangle, smaller one, and then do effect, warp, bold. It's going to be vertical. The bend's going to be 15 instead of negative 15. And the distortion's going to be 40. Going to move that down there, make it a lot smaller. That's the base of my lamp. And then I'm going to get a line segment. Color match it to that kind of gray we have going on there. Create an ellipsis. There we go. And then this line segment stroke, I'm going to bump up to about two. Going to do a range, send it back, and then there we go.
I'm going to go over here to my layers panel, add a new layer for my background. Drag that across, or if I want to be more exact, I can tap it and then do 600 by 300. And it's okay to be a little over so that it makes sure it covers the whole thing, our whole image there. Okay, let me bring that one down, match it with that dark brown, and then that is our background. <coughs> okay. So now we're going to create an armchair. And I'm going to do a rectangle. Match with that blue. Go to effect, warp, arch. Style type is going to be vertical. The bend is going to be negative 30. And then the vertical is going to be 30. Make sure that the resulting shape is selected and then simultaneously press two keys, shift and alt and move it to the right. So I'll hold that down, hold my shift and alt key and do that. And then effect, or arch. So I can either go in and try to redo this bend, or I can also do object, expand appearance, transform, reflect, and just do that. Makes life easier. And then I'm going to draw a blue rectangle in between. And then now it's time to draw the back of our armchair. I'm going to go to effect, stylize, round corners. It's going to be 10 pixels. Create some rounded corners there. Going to match it to this orange. And then go to effect, warp, art horizontal this time doesn't say anything about the bend so I'll put that at zero and so back to 30 There we go. Then I'm going to go create another orange rectangle and do effect warp arc upper. We set it to horizontal. The bin this time is going to be 30. Everything else this time is going to be zero. Okay. 
And then it says to, let's see. Copy, paste. Okay, so I did it right behind it. And then it's back there. I'm going to match up with that so that it creates that little bit of a bend. Just a little bit of a line there. And I'm going to do arrange in the back so then I know how to line this up. And then do this one too, where I do arrange, send it back. Doesn't help or hurt to group. Do the same thing for my lamp. Okay, so now we're going to create a coffee table. Create a long orange rectangle and then go to effect, stylize, round corners, 10 again. And then I'm going to go create a, another rectangle, match it with the blue, go to effect, warp. Bulge. It's going to be vertical this time. The bend is going to be set to negative 55. Then the vertical distortion is going to be set to 100. Then I'm going to adjust that so that it actually matches more of what I'm looking at in the picture. <coughs> and then I'm going to create three circles. So there's one. And just to make my life easier, I'm going to hold down the Shift and Alt. Two. Bit control D to get that done. Place all the parts together. And there we go. So then create a quick base with tulips. 
going to create a rectangle. Match it to the lamp. Go to effect, warp. This time it's going to be fish. Vertical. The bend's going to be negative 20. And then the vertical distortion is going to be 30. For tulips, we're going to use the line segment tool. Match it with that gray again. I'm probably going to use this bin tool here. There you go. And then do copy paste. And copy paste again. And that's time to transform, reflect. So that one reflects over. I'm going to select all of these and do arrange, send it back, zoom in so I can see what's going on there. A little bit lighter there. I can also expand these to help with that. So it's object, expand. Just so that they're not warping the way I don't want them to. And then we're going to create some tulips. <laughs> Taking our ellipses tool, matching it to the orange, copy and pasting that. Again, to make it exact, follow the directions there. And then on the one in the middle, I'm going to make it just ever so slightly lighter so that it sticks out. There we go. Group those, copy paste. There's one, two, and three. Great.
Necro Thief, and bring them on over. To our table. So then in part five, we're going to create a chest of drawers. I'm going to start by creating a rectangle. It says to do two orange rectangles as shown in the image below. I'm going to do another one, slightly smaller, put it there, and then go over to my Pathfinder and hit Exclude. There we go. So you want to make that the right size, size you want it. Select both, do exclude, cuts that out. And then draw another two rectangles using light brown color for the stroke. And then those are going to be the shells. So, boom. For the stroke, it's going to match. There we go. And there. I want to make sure that they match. I can hit my shift and alt and drag it on down. And then for um, the legs, we're going to create a blue rectangle. And we're going to take this point and move it over to our left. Range, send it back, and then copy paste. And on this one, I'm going to do transform, reflect, and click OK, and then arrange, send it back. them all together and then we're going to put them in our scene there we go so then some decorations part six is going to be the next video where i show you how to do the decorations